Hello, hello. Welcome back to Girls by Charlene. Today I am diving into a new product that's been making noise in the curly hair community. The Dew Big Popper Defining Gel. As someone with type 3 curls, I am so excited to share my first impressions and results with you. I got this online from Beauty Supply Company and I love this personal little note. I'm starting on freshly washed hair as usual and I'm only using this product. First things first, you know I gotta smell the product and this one smells good like a fresh scent. A lovely fragrance but I couldn't tell you what exactly it smelled like. Secondly, it's a very thick consistency. So thick you can tip the jar over and it won't fall out. I have five easy steps I'm going to share with you and then I'll show you the results from day one all the way through to day eight. Shout out time to two people in particular. These guys have commented on my videos and I want to give a shout out to them because I want to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to try this product. I wouldn't have even known about this product if it wasn't for the two of you. My first big shout out is to Gully Blanchard 5750. This guy commented on my wet line video. I used extreme gel and he told me about this product. He said, you know what? I think the best gel right now for 3C and hair in the fours is the Dew Big Popper gel. I really slept on this gel, but this is perfect for low porosity hair. Tick, my hair's 3C. And in the fours, I sometimes feel, and it's low porosity. You get hold, but it doesn't weigh your hair down much. And you get volume and crazy shine and definition. You can get day four or five hair on the second day if you dry and fluff a bit. Also, it stays in your hair. I did workouts, sweating a lot, and it stayed in. I was shocked. I was like, yes, this is the kind of review you want to hear and the product you want to try. I couldn't wait until I tried this product. Thank you so much. And my second big shout out is to Araya Day 1774. And this is what she said. You have my hair type, girl. You're a 3C! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, dot, dot, dot. Do a video with Big Popper Gel. That's currently what I'm using. Not gonna lie, though. Extreme Wet Line is still in my cabinet. I have low porosity, 3C hair, and Big Popper eggs. Excellent! The good thing about this gel is you don't gotta use nothing with it. It doesn't need it, dot, dot, dot. Please try and do a video. I'm doing it, girl. I'm doing it. Thank you so much for the tips. So number one, my first impressions. This product felt sticky when I first picked it up, but once I ran it through my hair, oh, my hair felt soft and smooth. Another thing is because the consistency is so thick, I wasn't sure how much to apply. Step number two is the application process. I'm gonna walk you through how I applied this on my damp hair. Really, your hair needs to be at least wet or re-wet it. After washing and conditioning, you know, doing all the things you should be doing, deep conditioning especially, which I do weekly. I showered first and then like an hour or so later, then I started styling. So I had to re-wet it with the spray bottle. I didn't apply any other product because I wanted to test this. I didn't put a leave-in, I didn't put anything. Water is the only thing that's in my spray bottle. I detangle my hair and then I applied a generous amount. I was very generous with the amount I used on each section. But it could be because my hair was getting dry. I didn't style straight out of the shower. I waited a bit, did a few things and then started styling. I did also brush the product through my hair, so I'm brush styling with this product because the definition, like look at this, it, it's crazy. I was shocked, shocked, shocked. And let me just say, this did not stop this product from working. I mean, if you look at my hair right now, it doesn't look like I started on semi-dry hair, but really I should have done it on 
wet hair straight out of the shower but it didn't hinder this product whatsoever so i re-wet my hair with the spray bottle i detangled and then i applied an ever so generous amount i don't actually think you need to apply as much as i did but just because my hair was drying i think that's what happened but looking at the container after i've done all of this i didn't even use a quarter of this product maybe i used a fifth or a sixth of the whole container that's actually very good generally i use like a quarter of the tub or a fifth of the tub so this is a standard amount for most products okay step number three is on to defining the curls so that was how i applied it now we're going to define it the shine can we just give a moment to this product for the shine my hair was glossy as anything it's crazy look at how shiny my hair looks with this product no way and it doesn't weigh my hair down at all the length is trying to hold can you see it is really trying i mean usually my hair shrinks up almost immediately but i noticed right away how easily the gel just glided through my curls and using this tangle teaser to style my curls oh I gently coated each section. I didn't need to scrunch to encourage the curls, nothing. My curls just started hopping. I mean, come on, this is crazy. I'm raking my hair right now. And as you can see the definition, wow. I had to shake my head and shake my head and shake my head. That's why the brush felt like it worked better with this product. Even my roots. Are just defining usually i have to add a bit more product and take care when i'm defining the roots but look at them no effort really this is what i need and i thought what is in this product that's so good and there's something called baba su seed oil i've never heard of this what is this i'll have to look it up and put a definition here you go and then keratin so there's keratin in it the Dew You, the actual container, says apply to freshly washed wet hair in sections, raking from roots to ends. You can air dry, hood dry or diffuse and then allow hair to dry completely before fluffing and separating as desired. Now we're on to step four, the drying process. I used a diffuser attachment on low heat. I alternated between the cold setting and the low heat setting. The gel did form an ever so slight cast. Step number five are the results and hold. I'm diffusing right now, so you think it's wet, right? Now the dry results look the same. This is day one. Proved great definition without making my curls feel stiff or crunchy. There was a slight cast, but that's good. If there's no cast at all, I'm like, is this even gonna last a day or two? My curls are bouncy, shiny, have natural holds that last throughout the day. So day one already, it was looking good. It wasn't completely flat, you know, like a stronghold gel, even though I would presume this is stronghold, but there's volume at the roots and definition as well. Guys, oh, I'm loving this. And it's soft. Soft, soft, soft. I haven't fluffed it up to anything. Couldn't quite sense when my hair was dry. It was a strange feeling that's the only thing i've got to say that i couldn't quite understand with this one because my hair felt slightly damp but usually it would be dry by now however the definition was still on point there was no frizz no even wet frizz i was just thinking is it dry isn't it dry so i stopped diffusing and let it air dry the rest of the time so that was day one this is day two right out of the bonnet i hadn't fluffed or anything i'm just shaking my head no refreshing no spraying water to boost the curls or anything i used jojoba oil on my fingers and scalp and that was it oh my goodness i love this product i'm telling you it is amazing excellent on its own day two mm -hmm. look definition check shine check 
cold chick. It, it feels like it's damp. I don't know why I have that feeling, but maybe it's the moisture. It's a strange, strange kind of thing. Hee <laughs> hee, guys. It's British summer right now and the humidity, yay, yay, is crazy. When definition holds up in this humidity, hello product. I fluffed my hair out ever so slightly. Not massive fluffing. Look at that curl. Why is this product so good? I'm gonna give you five points on why I think so. Number one, shine and definition. Do I even need to explain? My hair loves this product. Just look at how defined my curls are and the shine. Woo! Number two, hydration and length retention. Look at how long it looks. Usually my curls spring up way more. Number three, frizz control and hold, even in humid weather. Check. Yes, I noticed hardly any frizz. Even wet frizz, there wasn't any. And humidity makes no difference. I've been sweating like anything and it's fine. Number four, scent and texture. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, the texture holds up. It's thick, it's not runny which made it easy to apply and distribute through my curls evenly. And last but not least, number five, curl enhancement. This really brought out my curl pattern and maintained shape. Day three results. The definition is still there. 28 degrees today, well, on that day, and I was sweating. It felt like 28 degrees, just sitting there was sweat covering down my face, okay? And the humidity was 55%. Hot, hot, hot. Usually I don't mind heat, but this wet heat, this humidity is just, mm, it's something else. I thought, okay, let's see what it looks like in the evening. No difference. How does my hair look so good on day three? Come on. Guys, I love this product. When your day four curls look like this, you know the product's a keeper. There is no way this product ain't good. Slightest amount of frizz, but you want that for volume. Day four. I mean, look at these girls. Just look at them. Come on. Huh? Let's flip it over. Yeah. Both ways. Definition on point. Volume there. I could get it bigger. I haven't even used a pick. I've just been using my fingers. Shine. It's still shiny. What else? What else do you want to know? I mean, I haven't done, I haven't had to refresh. No water, nothing. Just in a bonnet, go to sleep, wake up, bam, like this. We're here just fluffing our hair out, you know? constantly fluffing it out <laughs> it looks good and the humidity i'm sweating right now sweating the humidity is crazy it's 26 degrees i know that doesn't seem hot for some of you who don't live in england but yeah when the humidity is high let me see if i can figure out what the humidity is like today because yo and yesterday it was humid 27 28 how can your day five curls be so defined well this product i know it's a bit on the pricey side but man is it worth it I think the Jew needs to give me commission because the way I'm praising this product, I'm not getting paid for this. This is an honest review. This is how I feel and think about this product on my hair. If you are looking for a gel that provides excellent definition, hydration, shine and hold without the crunch, I highly recommend trying the Jew Big Popper Defining Gel. Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments below. This honestly could be my favorite product. 
my curls are still defined on day five. You know this product is doing its job. No refreshing, no adding new products, adding the same product, only fluffing. I don't even have my pick. Fluffing with my fingers and oil. That is it. And my hair is still looking this good. Unbelievable. Now on to day six. I mean, the definition is still there. We got a bit of frizz now. Now we're getting the volume big time. However, you should expect this by now. The shape is still there. I'm still passing for like a day three, day four with other products. There's been no effort I've put into this product. I've literally done nothing and the curls still look good. Day seven. Oh, come on. And look at the definition. Look at this curl on day seven. <sighs> Say less. <laughs> I mean... There is some frizz at the back, but day seven looks like day four, day three. With other products. If you are not sold on this product, I don't know what you want. What what else do you want from a product? The bounce, the shine. Hello, curls for seven days. Day eight and we're still going. I don't even need to explain anymore. You know this product is good. Now don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more curly hair tips and product reviews. You know I'll be doing a video every Friday. I upload new content with tips and tricks just to help you. Thanks so much for watching Curls by Charlene. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hmm, hmm. If you have, thanks so much for being loyal. I am so grateful to you. Keep watching, keep giving me suggestions, and I will do them. I promise. It might take me a while, but I will get there. I will definitely do it. Thanks so much for watching Curls by Charlene, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Peace out.